there YouTube, this is Susan, aka The Free Birdie, coming to you right now from uh, Gilroy, California. I'm heading north on the 101 up to the Russian River, and I don't know about you, but who doesn't, let that truck go by, who doesn't love roadside produce stands? I just love the idea of stopping and uh, buying at these uh, produce stands from the local farmers and everything's nice and fresh. And here in Gilroy, it's the garlic capital, I know, of the country, if not the world. So, and there, it's definitely cherry season, so I'm going to go over here and see what they have. So, as I said, we're in the garlic capital. And they've got lots and lots of garlic. I know here in a couple of weeks, Gilroy has their annual garlic festival. These are awesome. For $14, you can get one of these braids of garlic. And they last like nine months. Use them for cooking. Hang them up in your kitchen. Going to have to get some of that. And then my favorite over here, we have... I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to try this. This is elephant garlic, and oh my god, it is so sweet and amazing for roasting. So yeah, it looks like they've got the uh, garlic and some bean cherries over here. So I'm going to get some of those and get back on the road. What? What did Mama get? So... I picked up a little uh, garlic braid here, and they said it would last like nine months, so it'll be a dual function, keep away the vampires in, I'll have plenty of garlic to cook with. And then I got this two pound bag of uh, Bing cherries for $7, and oh my goodness, they are so sweet. Mm. And a bag of lemons for my lemon water. Hey, ready to go? All right, let's go. Hello, YouTube. This is Susan, aka the Free Birdie, and I am here uh, south of Oakland, California. And tonight I am busting my Walmart boondocking cherry. What a day, what a day, what a day it's been. I uh, just had an incident on the highway that uh, I decided it was time to get off and, you know, just come and find a place to chill out for the night and I'll uh, make it up to the river in the morning. But I was in rush hour traffic and this little old man in a little car decides he didn't want to get stuck behind an RV towing a car. So he comes zipping on, even though I was established in my lane, and smacks the free birdie with his rear view mirror. So that got us held up for, I don't know, an hour and a half or so, and the police came, and even they confirmed that it's his responsibility to merge safely, and that I was established in my lane going straight. You know, these idiots in these little cars do not understand that you know, you have this very heavy vehicle, and it doesn't stop on a dime, and they're being really, really stupid when they're trying to just zip in front of you, you know, and get in, you know, get in front of you like it's going to save time. Hey, Gertie. Anyway, it is what it is about all this information, and I'm definitely going to, you know, have that fixed. I mean, it looks wanky. So, and his insurance company can pay for it. But, that's it. I thought that that was enough for today. You know, the flat tire and the dinged up. And I'm going to go inside and enjoy my cherries. And um, make some garlic uh, artichokes. And uh, maybe I'll go in and look for a fishing pole in Walmart. So, hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Peace out.